Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. I am in Port Aransas, Texas at the jetty. This is part of the Port Corpus Christi shipping channel. I am a beginner when it comes to boats and ships. I use vessel finder and information from the internet and try to pass a little bit of it along. If I get it wrong, you can leave a nice comment. You don't have to get ugly. I will come to your house. I will follow your children to school. <laughs> that is the American Signet Courageous. Built in 2008. That is a pilot boat. Pretty cool. Aransas Pilot 2. What does a pilot boat do? It brings the pilot out to the ship. Uh, taking direct command or transferring directions to a ship's captain while navigating the 29-mile-long Port Corpus Christi ship channel. These guys know their stuff. And uh, hopefully that means a big ship will be coming back in. I looked on uh, my app Vessel Finder, and there's quite a few of them waiting out there in the Gulf of Mexico. I don't know when they're scheduled to come in, and I think there's a way I can find that out. I'm going to have to do a little bit more research. It is currently 91 degrees. The heat index is 109. And the wind is 23 miles an hour out of the southeast. So imagine... There's going to be some challenges today. They're working on both sides of the channel right now. They've been working on it for quite a while. And it looks like we got a big ship out there getting ready to come in. All the little guys are scrambling to get out of the way. I'm having trouble identifying the smaller ships today. But the big ones are showing up on uh, Vessel Finder pretty clearly. And... Uh, yeah, that one will be down here in a few minutes. Just checking out the jetty while we're waiting for this baby to get a little closer. So this is the American Southern Responder. And at one point, I believe until 2006, it was called the Georgia Southern Responder. It is a pollution control vessel, and it aids in any type of spills. Uh, it was built in 1993 in Beaumont, Texas. And uh, different sources online tell me its home port is Norfolk, Virginia. But it also says Ingleside which is right around the bend here. So that would make more sense. Like I said earlier, I'm a novice when it comes to ships, so I can only go by the information I find online. Pretty neat. It's got a helipad on it. It's very interesting. I read a brief article when um, the owners of the ship uh, are really into wildlife conservation. It's probably why they're into uh, pollution control. But they also were involved in the releasing of sea turtles, like thousands of sea turtles. So it may be a, a big time company, but they're still interested in uh, wildlife and care about the environment, obviously, when you're doing that kind of work. It's a different looking ship, huh? Pollution control vessel. Pretty neat. I'm going to have to read up on those. Couldn't find a whole lot of consistent information. And uh, whenever I do check online about these ships, I find a lot of conflicting information. <laughs> so if any of you guys have a good source that's consistent please let me know 
I brought a friend here the other night and uh, we watched the ships come in and it was uh, very cool. I'm sure there has to be another app or two I can get to cross-reference and uh, figure out the ships. Now, this one coming left to right, it's showing as Port PD 590 Law Enforcement. And if any of you people are knowledgeable and I'm incorrect, please let me know. Like I said, I'm getting my information from Vessel Finder today. And a lot of these smaller ships aren't even, uh, smaller boats aren't even showing up. Uh, especially the fishing boats for some reason that have uh, come and gone through. This is uh, an American tug. Crosby Trojan. It was built in 1982. It's towing a barge of some sort. I love tugboats. Tugboats remind me of old steam engines or uh, like the best part of the train. But I can appreciate tugboats. There's a barge and there's another tug on the back there. And that looks like the one that went by us a while ago. Yep, I think that's the uh, Signet Courageous. And that was uh, 2008, if I remember correctly. So he got out there quick and did a good turnaround. Wanted to zoom all the way out and step back a bit from the seawall to give you an idea of the spacing here. They do have a sharp left-hand turn further down the channel. And uh, one of these times when I'm down here looking at ships, I think I'm going to go uh, to Roberts Point Park right by the ferry just to get a different perspective. But I kind of like it here with, with the uh, beach over there on the island. And uh, sky is open here. And I find the, the fishermen interesting to see what they're up to. A lot of people have come and gone, fished for a half hour, an hour, and uh, left. Now, this boat is also showing as Port PD 590. So I don't know if there was a delay in the uh, information coming from Vessel Finder. But I have identified one of these boats wrong so if you guys know let me know please and between ships guys I'm uh, looking up information and banging my phone trying to get the app to work better <laughs> uh, the stray dolphin the stray sea turtle going from the front of the truck to the back of the truck getting everything cleaned and organized it's a fishing boat out there that's not showing up on Vessel Finder. Here we go, guys. Here comes one of the big boys. This is a crude oil tanker. And from here, it's going to Delaware. So it's got a journey ahead of it. It is from Greece. It was built in 2014. L-E-O-N-T-I-O-S. Leon Toas. Leon Toas? It was named after the Byzantine Empire. Emperor, excuse me. Words are hard. Its name means popularity. That's interesting. And that is a beautiful ship. Especially set against this sky. So it just loaded up. It looks like it's riding pretty high, but 
What do I know? Yeah, uh, that island that I mentioned earlier, that is uh, St. Joe's, San Jose Island. And you need to be a good swimmer or have a boat or a helicopter to get out there. And there is a shuttle that goes from uh, the marina here in Port Aransas, I believe twice a day. But the shelling over there is supposed to be excellent because not that many people get over there every day. And that looks to be some type of dolphin watch cruise in front of it there. I'm not sure. My eyes are not what they used to be. <laughs> they used to work. Well, at least it's got its name real big. So, Leon Leontois H. Okay. That is a good looking vessel. So, I guess it's taking crude oil up to the refinery. Why would it do that? Why would it do that? Hmm. I know there's refineries in Delaware and uh, the Port of Wilmington and I'm going to have to check this because on two of the apps it said DE. Now I wonder if that's also for Denmark. This I do not know. And like I said, there's just a lot of conflicting information. The app's just not working for me today. It's it's worked the other two or three videos very well that we did this. But I know our AT&T signal has been horrible in this area the last few days. There's been some type of problem. I would like to find out information like how many people are on that vessel. And, you know, it's always neat to see where it's going, where it's been. What I do like about the app is different photographers will add pictures and they'll uh, post where they took the photo. And you, even these tugboats have been all over the place. You know, it's really interesting. And these oil tankers go everywhere. Yeah, this is the last pretty day we're going to have for a while, guys. And uh, no matter what the outcome of the tropical storms or possible hurricanes headed in our general area, it's going to be raining for at least a week here. So I wanted to get over here and uh, film I appreciate y'all hanging out with me this morning. I really am enjoying watching these boats. And thanks for watching, everyone.